what is going on guys nameless here it's been a minute i get it it has been a minute for those of you here you're the real ones i'm not gonna give you guys some crazy story as to why i haven't uploaded i know i always do that but we're just gonna hop right into it okay welcome back to the channel it's your boy we're about to do the pickups for cod champs 2022 all right let's get right into it man i can't wait to see what goes down at champs man it has just been an insane season i haven't talked to you guys on the youtube i know some of you guys have been waiting but hey listen man it's a new video let's talk about it let's go through it we've had four majors with four different champions if you add the pro-am that's five it has just been insane vanguard is wild like I did not think it would turn out this insane. The last tournament, like the upsets at every tournament that we have, like you really just can never predict what's gonna happen. So that being said, like this bracket is gonna reflect that, this trend of inconsistency that we've had throughout this year, right? So it's not gonna be like exactly like rationally what I think is gonna happen. It's just what I think is the most likely to happen like in true Vanguard fashion, the Vanguard Leviosa, if you've heard us say it on broadcast, it's the term that we've made to like explain why things happen in Vanguard. But let's get right into it, okay? Um, so this is my pickums. Uh, I have to log in, hold on. Okay, we're logged in, all right? Step one is down. Now let's start with the lower side of the bracket all right because i feel like it's a little bit easier here uh i'm gonna go la thieves and boston breach okay so for la thieves they're coming off a big victory i actually predicted them to win the last tournament uh if you go check out lando's vlog it shows it on day one i predicted la thieves to win the whole thing i just think that um it was their time right like they were looking good it was their time everybody was frying people are hating on kenny like they have a good coaching staff they have a good roster they stuck with it and they believed which is the biggest thing uh, especially in this game you just have to believe and then just be frying that weekend so for them i think they were make consistent i think they get this win uh in a 3-1 fashion that's not to say boston breach isn't good it's just that boston breach just isn't there yet like they made their roster change they're going up against a team that has been together all season long and for boston breach they're not particularly like dominant at anything uh they're just solid across the board uh for le thieves i think their map pool is really deep too but we'll get more into that later uh where that'll actually help them in some of these matches they're gonna get through this one which is raw talent i think um and where they're at as a team uh for optic texas and toronto ultra oh this is an interesting one um optic texas and toronto ultra go to a game five uh toronto ultra would have won but cammy lost a crazy gunfight to shotzi like they designed the play around cammy uh when they wrapped it back towards b on bow cage uh and if my editing skills are good enough it'll be right here but if they're not then it just won't be here but anyways you can go back and check it out it was in the game five but uh cammy dies he gets absolutely shit on by shotzi um so optic win it but i still think it goes to a game five and i think optic will be more prepared there uh this time around uh and i think they'll just take it with a little bit more ease uh, i just believe in optic texas uh moving on to the next match we have the london royal ravens versus the seattle surge uh seattle surge coming off a major championship um and then they got bumped out smoked in the online portion and then first rounded at the tournament um seattle surge is a good team i think that they are still a top four team in the game uh despite their shortcomings the last tournament uh they're going up against the royal ravens i would realistically predict them to win this match but remember it's vanguard nothing goes according to plan so i'm actually going to predict the royal ravens to win this and you know i'm not just picking it strictly because of vanguard leviosa i think london royal ravens are due uh for a little bit of success at least at this tournament uh afro didn't have the best showing uh and they didn't you know do too well there in the bracket but i think if afro bounces back like this is a winnable game for them i think that royal ravens are the better uh hardpoint team right now and their search and destroy was looking decent in the online portion as well so um i really think they can win this it's just the problem is their control will they figure it out by the time champs comes will they have a couple of weeks and i think so if they focused all their eggs in one basket they can actually do it so i'm gonna predict them to win in a 3-2 fashion uh, and then we have atlanta phase versus the new york subliners now they already completed the impossible um but i don't think they come into here and beat atlanta phase uh, i think that you know atlanta phase is going to be extremely prepped for new york they're going to be ready to go uh and we're not we're no longer in the home turf of the new york subliners atlanta phase 
will beat New York. I am confident in that in a 3-1 victory. Now, moving on, winners round two. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Let's go down to elimination round one. Let's do that first. Now, in limb round one, you have New York versus Surge. Spicy matchup, spicy, spicy game. Uh, New York and Surge, I feel like, man, this is so tough. Uh, but I do think the surge take this, man. I think they take it in a 3-1. Um, I just think New York get an unfortunate match one versus phase. They get bumped down. They're playing an angry surge, and we know the talent on the surge. The talent on the surge, they can just get it done, man. So I think New York get bumped out. Uh, and then the other limb game, we have Toronto Ultra versus Boston Breach. Toronto Ultra and Boston Breach is an interesting one. Um, and I actually think I was gonna go with breach there. Matter of fact, I am, I'm gonna go with breach. Listen, when you guys come back and look at this bracket and it's all right, I want you guys to leave a like. But I'm gonna go with Boston Breach over the Toronto Ultra in 3-1. I think Breach just come out and fry. I think the SMGs go ham. Uh, Toronto Ultra have been wildly inconsistent throughout this game. Um, obviously, anything can change. Like this, this game is absolutely just bonkers, but I have a feeling if this is the way the bracket turns out after round one of winners, I think Boston Breach come out and, and, and beat Toronto Ultra. Uh, I just have faith in those guys, and I don't think they're going to get first rounded. Like, it's their first champ. Like, a lot of these guys' first champs, they're going to be playing with so much passion um, and a chip on their shoulder that they're going to have to at least get something done. Uh, let's go back up to the top side of the bracket. Atlanta phase and Royal Raven stomped. That's a 3-0. They're going to smoke them. I mean, they're just better than them in all three game modes. Uh, Atlanta phase win that. And then Optic Texas and LA Thieves. It's only right. Optic Texas beat LA Thieves 3-2. It goes to a game five. These guys have had matches back and forth in the season. Honestly, Optic Texas only weeks after getting Illy back played so good in that bracket. Like I actually have high praise for Optic Texas. I did not think they would do that well, make it all the way to the top four. Um, and I think they have a hard fought battle with LA Thieves, but they come out on top and it sets up this crazy winner's bracket final. Uh, and then moving on in them round two, LA Thieves versus Seattle Surge, baby. This is a banger of a match. Now, true Vanguard fashion, Seattle Surge take this game they do i mean all these teams are so evenly matched like for any of you guys that are fans of these teams watching this video um like this any most of these matches like after round one they can just go either way um but i think that uh seattle surge like they're nasty bro like they can they can come out and win this uh they're a good search team uh when they won their championship and their search has fallen off recently uh but i think they work on some things phoenix gonna have these guys ready and they're gonna come out and beat the thieves and you know it's gonna be a tough loss for them but you know thieves are coming off a championship it's hard to continue that throughout this game we've seen it all year long a team wins and then they just fall off afterwards it, it might be no different here uh and then in limb round two ravens versus the breach i'm actually going with the breach again i think the breach went in three one i think they have a pretty good map pool like they're good at book cage hard point they're good at tuscan control uh they can win a gav here and there so for them uh uh, I think they come out and they beat Royal Ravens and it sets up Breach versus Surge. Now, at this point, you guys are probably wondering, like, yo, your bracket and your top four is meat. But I'm telling you, it's going to be right. And then we have Breach Surge. I'm going to go with Surge here. 3-2 goes to a game five. Seattle Surge edge him out. And, uh, you know, it's a you got to be happy if you're breached to make it that far um and these are just like wildly talented teams you have left in the top three uh in the winner's bracket final i actually am gonna have optic beating phase i think optics show up with the crowd the energy the hype they're gonna come out and they're gonna take down phase uh this day and this is saturday as well so all these matches will be happening on saturday uh and then we have atlanta phase versus surge atlanta phase come out and they beat surge hard fault game five victory uh, i think the tiny terrors are gonna be on one at this point they're gonna be angry and it sets up the epic sunday match optic texas atlanta phase Wait, there's a catch it is Sunday. They have a day off to prepare, a day off to regain for this one best of nine. And Atlanta phase take it. Atlanta phase will take this match. It'll be so epic. The crowd's going to be hype. Uh, I think it's going to go 5-3, though. Uh, I think Atlanta phase's search is on another level now. And optics control is sort of falling off, uh, which gives phase a big edge uh, in, the, in a best of nine series against them. Uh, I think they learned from the mistakes the day before. And they come out and they win that. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically going to be like my complete bracket. Like, imagine if this is the bracket, though, how fucking insane it would be. Um, I'm telling you guys, this is it right here. This is lit. Uh, I know I went through this kind of quick, but I mean, 
like all these teams can beat these other teams really like especially after round one so like this is just how i think it's gonna shake up like just from the eyeball test i actually ran through it like uh before this and i stopped it and i was like i'm not gonna prepare to make a vanguard bracket there's just no way like there's no way i was trying to reason and like be like okay they're a better control team they're a better hard point team but that has never worked all season long so i have to go with gut feeling i'm telling you guys my gut feeling is that this is the bracket um so go ahead comment down below what you guys thought uh what you would change um where you think i'm faded or where you think i've made the right call and we'll circle back and look at this to see how many i got right and how many i got wrong when it comes to map count like i'm not really caring too much about that like that is way too much to think about but i'm gonna lock this bracket in and uh hopefully it is right man but thank you guys for tuning in i know it's been a minute i know it's been a minute but hey this is a video man much love guys you guys take it easy i'll see you guys at champs august 4th to 7th make sure you guys tune in a lot of love and passion goes into this thing from the teams to the orgs to the league to production to the talent to the players it's been an absolute blast and this is our final hoorah for the season for mw2 so don't miss out we'll see you guys then